for today. Out shopping with your boyfriend? <laughs> How nice for you. I shouldn't be surprised you are a famous shogi player after all. Well, I won't intrude. Bye. Sorry. Sorry, she was only glaring at you because you're with me. Um, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Um, green son, are you interested in older women? <laughs> oh, I so just want to sing. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> what do you ask? Oh, we're back in our freaking winter uniform now. Oh, what do you think will happen to our Kumar foods? stuff together and I haven't been taking any like days when he's on off to record like I had done before and again I don't know maybe I should take a break off Persona 5 for a bit at some point but it's like I don't know what else to start so yeah I'm just gonna keep going with it oh. do verification test Oh, but the bond's not gonna go well. Who cares? Maybe I should buy. Oh, yes! Uh, Jin. Uh, Bochu? There's a lot of used bookstores there. It's a bit far, but let's go. I wonder if the stores are still open. I'm gonna close the door. Wow! I see. The prices at a used bookstore are also low. Hmm. There's a lot here. Which, which ones would be good as reference? Autobiographies of great people. Mm -hmm. The lives of people who have left their names in history. True, those would be worth reading once. There is a lot to learn from their stormy lives. Also, you know those self-help books? With those, you feel like just reading them is enough. You end up not actually helping yourself. I'd like to learn the ideas expressed in those books, and use them to help my customers. Hmm? Th that used bookstore is signed to study, study of destiny. What? A, a fortune telling specific shop? Green Sun, let's go check it out. <laughs> I feel like this place could feel like a second home. Thank you so much for today. Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Personally, I think her results are impressive, but... 
I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. Excuse me. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Yeah. What is this? Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. That's what I figure. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I left it in here. Huh? How did Yoshizawa-san handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Ah. <sighs> Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. Huh. Talk about a waste of effort. <laughs> Sir... Oh, uh, pardon me. But there's no denying. First with Mr. Kamishida, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. I just cannot I understand. Man. Always asshole principals. Anyway, back to our damn questions. To be honest, I'm fed up with how happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts, social reform, don't give me this Phantom Thieves nonsense. It's all so unscientific. I mean, how could they target Big Bang Burger and Okuma Foods? They're criminals. That art of, yeah, artificially consummate flavor in a volume to fill a small universe. Are the Phantom Thieves trying to steal the galaxy of junk food from me? You. That said, Green Coon. Perhaps you think you understand how vast the universe is, full of countless galaxies, but consider this. If we use three watermelons in the sun to visualize a certain matter's size against the universe, what are the melons? Um, stars. This is it. <laughs> That's it. I expect as much from you. It's meant to convey the density of the stars and the vastness of space. Three bees in the whole of Europe also work. Wait. Uh, yeah. In other words, the universe is essentially empty. There are countless stars in the sky, but the universe is even more vast than that. Even within our own galaxy, the stars are separated by a great distance, despite the sheer volume of them visible. No way. Nice going! 
think I've ever noticed Machima over there. Close, but yet far. <laughs> you could say the same of our hearts. <sighs> if only he knew the places we've been. Now, where do we go and find Kazumi? Or did I already text her? Or call? Can we meet up? in front of the stadium. Where we met before. She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? I'm worried about her. Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm to Odaiba, right? Yeah. <sighs> no connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. I do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai. And even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I wanna get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Ugh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Hmm? Uh, hmm. Going anime on us. Uh oh. Uh, uh, hey, is that? <gasps> I think it is a lab. A weird one at that. Atmosphere. Is this a palace? But we never activated the nav. Wait, do you think it was Yoshizawa? Could Kasumi have the nav? It's a possibility. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her fast. Yeah. This music right now. Now I said I loved Okumura's palace, and I'm one of the few rare people who do. But this place is a complete 180 from the last one. The music last time was all, get going, kick some of the ass. This one is like... Ugh. I like this. Maybe I should have used this in the previous section. <clears throat> First, we need a way into that huge Let's thing. Go. The area heading down past these gates seems suspicious to me. Let's go, Joker. <sighs> Where did Kasumi go? Yoshizawa is here. Can we get any further in? Mm. That door might be our only option. Let's go check it out. Oh, shit. Just what 
is this place? Wait a minute. Hold on. This, these things. Wait a minute. No. Don't call me crazy. But this couldn't be the dog. Does the dog have a palace? Because the things I'm seeing here, that stuff down there, makes me think that this place is a palace from the dock. But he seems just like a truly good man. Why would he have a palace? If I think about it, if he has a palace, it's probably because. Who there? Was that Yoshizawa? That didn't sound good. Yeah. Stay on guard, though. I can see it from down here. That looks like... Yeah, that's Kasumi and someone else. But before we go down there, if I think about why the dog would probably have this palace, it could be because he wants to help people so much that that is his desire that is also going to cloud his mind and make him do the wrong thing. And it's probably he does have immense regret not being able to help Rumi. Eh, enough theorizing. Yeah. Why? How are you here? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? I. It's my fault. What? Come on. Right. You must. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> you must. What is? Hurry! Yoshizawa's in trouble. You dare to spurn our Lord's mercy! That thing has the hair of Dr. Maruki. Are you alright, Yoshizawa? Are you hurt? That voice... Senpai? <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. Accept yourself. Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting it perks like that. Where are these voices? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting special treatment is like, like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's earned it? I understand how you feel, but well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthy. Not only have we lost one, but the other one is not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? As if I don't know that better than anyone! Still, I don't care what anyone says about me. I will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream! <laughs> it's all in your best interest. <sighs> Filling my life with this pressure. Demanding the results that you want. Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am... I am... Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <laughs> Rather than accept away from cinders, you strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well, if those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. 
This has got to be... Contract. The spell cast upon you. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion. All right. We'll show you the way to do this. Nothing too reckless, okay? Thank you. Please do. I'm gonna be honest, the game is getting a whole lot better right now in just these last, like, 15 minutes. her at the start of the game. <clears throat> Kazumi. Hey, are you alright? I can't be weak anymore. <laughs> Whoa, I'm quite impressed. Considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Senpai, right? Yeah. I knew it. By the way, why are we dressed like this now? It's a really long story. Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. Huh? Looks like they found us. Time to get out of here, quick. We can explain later. Follow my lead. Right. Now I am suspicious of the dock. Oh, we're back at... Huh? My clothes changed back to normal too. This was your location before you entered the metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Let's tell her. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse with palaces and personas. I'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go. Normally I wouldn't believe any of that, but... After seeing it all for myself. But wow, you're so good at explaining things, Mr. Kitty. I'll let that last part slide this time. But isn't there something else that should be surprising you? Huh? A cat's talking? It took you long enough. And I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, maybe I should call you Morgana-senpai. 
Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? You dropped this earlier. You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well, I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honors status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. Oh, I think I'm getting cold. Okay. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. And then all of a sudden I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. Her smartphone, perhaps? What about my phone? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right... Sorry, this won't do any good. Why's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so I guess it's no big deal. Though it's definitely a palace that's gonna be on my mind for a while. We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. Well, either way, we definitely don't have to worry about who the ruler is, because I know who it is. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Unless it's some other doctor. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um. Um, well, uh, we're... You are, aren't you? That's right. I knew it. Wait. That means when we were at the cafe with the catchy son, I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Ugh. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. With that out of the way, what's your call? About Kasumi? That's right. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? So, you mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? When I awakened to my... Uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So, that's why I can't join you at the moment. Because you need to focus on your gymnastics. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. That's like you, Kasumi. Thank you. But I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. Of course, I won't say a word about this to anyone. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well, if you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana-senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Yeah. 
Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today, but I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. What, the bond doesn't get stronger?